Hi, I'm Angela with Thinkery. Welcome to Thinkery at Home. Today, we're going to explore block printing. Do you know what block printing is? Even if you're not familiar with the term, I'm sure you're familiar with the technique. It's how many posters and other print art is made. Printing is one of the oldest types of art, and it comes in a variety of different forms. Some, like etching, use acids in the process, while others use special screens and squeegees. You can get really technical in printmaking, which is part of the appeal. Block printing is a technique that involves you creating a stamp that you press onto paper, cloth, or another material using ink. Today, I'm going to show you a version of using materials we can find at home. Do you want to do some home block printing with me? For this activity, I'll be using a smooth surface, like a sheet pan, sponges, paintbrushes, or rollers, large spoons, wooden or metal, recycled styrofoam, construction paper, a dull pencil, and paint. To begin, I'm going to clean and prep my styrofoam. I'm going to look at what I have on hand and cut it down so that I have smooth, flat pieces. Next, I'm going to use my imagination and creativity and think about what I want to draw for my block printing project. You can start with something simple or do something more elaborate, but sometimes it helps to start with something with less detail just to make sure your transfer is clear. Now that I've created my drawing, I will transfer it onto my piece of styrofoam. First, I'll place my drawing on top of the piece of styrofoam, centering it so that the whole drawing fits within the edges of the styrofoam piece. Using my dull pencil, it's better if your pencil isn't too sharp, a dull pencil will help make nice deep indentions without poking holes with a sharp point. I'm gonna lightly trace over my image to transfer the lines onto the foam. Now that I have it transferred onto the styrofoam, I'm gonna trace over it a few more times to make sure the indentions are as deep as possible without poking through. But don't worry, if you do bust through, your block print will still print just fine. Next, we will ink up our print, press it to our construction paper, and see the results. For this step, you will need your smooth surface, your sponges, paint, construction paper, and spoon. Take a small amount of your paint and squeeze a little onto your flat surface. Rub, roll, or dab your sponge into the paint to get an even coating on the sponge. Make sure you don't get too much. The prints work because we only want the paint to cover only the places where we didn't make our indentions because that is how we can see our drawings. Keep watching, you'll get it. Brush your paint across your styrofoam, coating the entire surface. Place a piece of construction paper on top of your block print and use your spoon to rub. Make sure you rub all over the styrofoam, paying close attention to the edges. Now to see the results from one corner to separate your paper and the foam and reveal your masterpiece. Thank you for joining me in this activity. I hope you had fun. Post your results in the comment section below and continue to check our social media pages for more hands-on fun at home.